I'm a big basketball fanatic, as you can tell, and I love watching. I'm a huge Dallas Mavericks fan. I love watching them. And I remember in 2006 when they went to play uh, for the NBA Finals. And I remember the road that got them there. I remember the season. I remember every playoff game. And I remember the journey starting from the first playoff game all the way to when they got to the Finals. And I remember watching them take out opponent and opponent, team after team, where they were the underdog and everything. And I watched in 2006 as they actually won the Western Conference Championship. Now, that's not the NBA title, but it is the Western Conference Championship. And I remember the award ceremony. You guys have seen tons of these. You know how it goes. There's the commissioner of the NBA, and he takes the Western Conference Championship, and he hands it to the owner. And the owner takes it and hands it to the head coach. And the head coach takes it and hands it to the MVP. Now, at this time, the MVP is Dirk Nowitzki. Thank you, Jesus for Dirk Nowitzki, right? Well, you don't say that here in Louisiana, but in Texas, we thank Jesus for Dirk Nowitzki. And I remember watching Dirk as he handled this, this trophy. What a milestone in his career as he took that trophy, held it above his head like this. They took some pictures, held it to the side, even gave it a kiss, celebrated, did an interview. The whole thing was just excitement. He was just inebriated with the awesome up, uh, opportunity to hold this trophy that they had earned. It was just a Western Conference championship, but they had accomplished something. Then he passed it on to his teammates. It would break my heart because after that, they would go on to lose to the Miami Heat. Do not like the Miami Heat. <laughs> but God would have his vengeance on the Miami Heat in 2010. <laughs> I'm just kidding. In 2010 and 2011, in this season, I watched the same, uh, the same scenario. Here are the Mavericks. They're playing through this season. They get through the playoffs. And I remember getting excited because the playoffs were happening. I remember them watching them uh, fight through every type of underdog story. Can they do it? Are they capable of it? Do they have the talent? Do they have the charisma? Can they do this as a team? I remember watching that and hearing all that. Of course, our city's like, yeah, come on, go Mavs. And I remember them watching, uh, beating the, uh, the Lakers, and now everybody's thinking, all right, we're a contender. Then they go on to play for the Western Conference Championship again. And I remember them beating the Oklahoma City Thunder to get there. And I remember, but some, this is what struck me. Dirk Nowitzki handled this winning, this achievement, some, uh, totally different. See, remember the awards ceremony? They take that, that NBA uh, Western Conference Championship and they hand it to the, uh, to the owner. The owner then takes it and hands it to the head coach. The head coach takes it and then hands it to the MVP, which is still Dirk Nowitzki. Except Dirk Nowitzki didn't take no pictures, didn't kiss it, didn't hold it above his head. No, he just handed it on to his, uh, his, uh, his teammates and then walked out of the stadium. Missed the interviews and everything. And a reporter caught up to him and said, I'm confused. Why would you do that? And his response caught me. He said, because I have that one before, and I've been there before, and I didn't work hard, and I didn't do all that I did. I didn't run as much as I did, lift all them weights so I could have what I had before. I want the shot. I want the title shot. Friend, let me tell you something. You didn't go through all that you went through. You didn't pray for what you prayed for. You didn't fast for what you fasted for. You didn't contend for what you contended for so that you can have what you've already had. God wants you to have something you've never had before, and it's time for a divine turnaround in Ruston, Louisiana. God wants to shift things in the atmosphere. That people walking through this city or just passing by on 20 are just instantly healed from whatever was ailing them. They must say, God's in that city.